pronounce it? Yes. It's about your body. So don't even think too much about it. It's the health that refers to the structures in your body relating to muscles, tendons, ligaments, joints, and bones. Uh, the health of these structures is influenced by a wide variety of factors. And I'm suspecting it also includes what you eat. I guess we'll get to that with Dr. Disola Laoluakiola, who is a physiotherapist. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Good morning, uh, sir. Good morning, ma. So, good morning. We're here. Uh -huh. um, uh, health Science 101. 101. <laughs> mm. Oh, is it 001? <laughs> yes, because we... <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> okay. um, so we know what the definition of musculoskeletal health is. Mm -hmm. But in reality, what does it mean to the human being watching us right now? Okay, so like we know, this segment is lifestyle. Mm. So lifestyle just includes the things we do and the things we don't do in our daily activities. And then musculoskeletal health is a part of the body system that includes the muscles, just like you actually defined, the joints and the bones. But this body system is the one responsible for carrying our weight and also responsible for how we move. So that's what musculoskeletal is. It's just about the performance of all of these tissues, bones, joints, and muscles that helps us to move. So that's what our musculoskeletal health is. Okay, so that's what do you mean when you say it's about motor skills, right? Yes, motor skills is just, yes, how we move. It's the not... skills we need to move. Okay. So all those things come together to give us motor skills, yes. So what are the uh, common challenges? Okay, now let me, before I come to that, mm -hmm. what are the common challenges? errors people make in in that that impinge our motor skills the choices we make in the way we move or don't move position ourselves or not what are the common errors we make inadvertently that someone could actually be making this very moment and they mm -hmm. don't know okay so let me just just like you said there are some things we do and we don't do that can impact our musculoskeletal health um, but let me give you a background you know, when we think about musculoskeletal, it's not just only lifestyle. There are some that could be congenital. That means the person was given birth to that way. And because of that, they have musculoskeletal issues. Some could be traumatic. And what I mean is maybe somebody involved, um, is involved in a road traffic accident, a fall. So all of those things can cause musculoskeletal issues. So now to restrict it to our lifestyle, there are so many, I mean, I don't know how many minutes we have, but we can't even exhaust it in this segment. But one of the things is the way we carry things. So for example, maybe someone that is a sales girl in a supermarket or someone who just works in a place where they have to, maybe in a factory where they have to carry things that are heavy. What most people would do is to carry it and, you know, they you, you can demonstrate it to us. Okay. I'm sure that will work. So one of the things people would do, okay, so let's just assume that. Okay, no, go ahead. Um, okay, just go ahead. Go ahead. Right. No, no, go ahead. Okay, so just, let's just assume that I need to carry this table. Okay. What most people will do is they'll bend their back. Okay. So what we should do is, I wish we can actually demonstrate. Squat. Yes. So go close to that object. Go close to the object. And as much as possible, try to widen the legs mm -hmm. such that it's about shoulder width apart. So, just so, like so let's imagine I okay. want to carry this table. Yes. So I go close to it. Instead of doing this. Exactly. Mm -hmm. that I shouldn't wrong. do this. You shouldn't do that. I should do this. So your legs. I widen my leg. Widen mm -hmm. your leg. Before I you go, go, before you go down, tighten the, the your belly muscles. My core. Your what core you muscles. Core. Fantastic. Okay. Mm -hmm. so because when you do that, you're going to be stabilizing your spine. Okay. You give your spine more stability. Okay. You know, to prevent injury. Okay. And then after you do that, then you squat. I can now squat. Then you like squat. This. Good, fantastic. And, and then you carry, carry it. it. And once hmm. you carry it, okay. you take it close to the body. Oh. Close to the body. Not like this. Not like this. Because when you're doing that, you are going to be straining some tissues further. So you okay. take it close to the body and make sure that you have a firm grip on it. 
Okay. Yes. <clears throat> so that's a good way. I mean, you will have... You we know. have been doing it wrong all our lives. Oh, yes. <laughs> but speak to those women who wash clothes. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so, I mean, depending on the setting. So let me just use a typical... There's a basin and then there's a small stool. Yeah. You know. Instead of... Or let's say there's a basin, some people will bend their back mm -hmm. and be wash, washing. Yes. And hold one le hand to the knee like this and uh, wash it like exactly. that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So why not just get a chair? You know, that has a good... small stool. Yes. You know, maybe something that even has good back support. Okay. And then get a table. A table, mm -hmm. put it in front of you and um, put or maybe a, a low stool. But whatever you're going to be doing, make sure that is such that you can easily wash. You are sitting down, you are still, you know, even. So your, your back is as upright as possible. As upright as possible. Okay. Just bring the basin to your level such that you are not bending, bending your down. back. Hmm. I don't know if you understand what yeah. I'm saying. So yeah. that's, depending on you, that, I mean, I don't know different settings, but whatever it is you are going to be doing, just make sure that, you know, you put it such that you know, your back is erect and you're not training your back for Okay, I, I'm going to call for a, a short break for like two minutes so okay. that you can, some adjustments can be made to your microphone because I suspect that you would want to okay. uh, demonstrate a thing to yeah. us. So let's take a short break for about, say, two minutes, one, two minutes, so that mm -hmm. um, we can get uh, Dr. Lalo Akiola to demonstrate a thing or two to us. We'll be right back. Thank you. So now you know if you've been carrying it all wrong, especially when you have to move house um, and you've been having those back aches. Maybe you know that's, why. <laughs> maybe that's one of the reasons. <laughs> yes, so uh, Dr. Laula Akiola, hmm. people have been doing that wrong for a long time. Yes. What is the consequence? The consequence is pain. Pain in the low back, pain in the neck. In the low back. In the waist. So what people would call waist, waist pain, neck pain, shoulder pain. You know, and we see a lot of people that come to us most of the time, apart from cancer pain, musculoskeletal pain is the most common pain according to WHO. So you see, okay, once everybody knows, once I, I introduce myself or anybody knows I'm a physiotherapist, I bet you, nine out of ten people will always tell me, so there's this wrist pain I've been having. <laughs> so there's this pain. I'm like, okay. So like almost everyone have one pain or pain the, other. the other. You know, so to so answer your question, that's the consequence. Pain. And what you know what you know is the consequence of pain? Disability in one form or the other. So you see that people are not able to do things that they would normally love to do. Going uh -huh. to church, going to mosque, going to parties, 
a grandma not being able to care for her grandchildren or not being able to carry her grandchildren because of pain, you know, or one thing or the other, mm. you know. So that's the consequence. Okay. Now, um, our devices are a major part of our lives oh, now in yes. the 21st century. Yes. And I have seen many videos trying to teach us how to use our telephones. Mm -hmm. But Something um, that you bought with your money, oh. Uh, it seems a, it seems <laughs> a tall order. A tall order. <laughs> because uh, it's a bit difficult for you to sit and use a phone like this. I know. Most of us bend over. Bend over. So which is the correct way to use your laptop or your phone? Okay. So there are two questions. So let's start with the laptop uh -huh. or our desktop. Uh -huh. So again, depending on how your setup is. Now, if you need to use a laptop or a desktop, it must be such that the top of the monitor, the top of the screen, mm -hmm. should be at your high level. Oh. Yes. So, because <laughs> if it's too low or too the lap high... The laptop is on the table and no. you are crouched down like this, yes. punching on so it. So, whatever it, that's like, I always say, depending on your setup. So, you might need to bring your laptop up or you need to come down. You just need to adjust either the chair or the desk. So you, it must be such that the the top of the monitor. Are you listening? <laughs> so even my design is not enough. It, it, it's not rich. I can imagine. You, you know, still have to bend. <laughs> yes, it must be at the high level to prevent straining of the shoulder or straining of the neck. neck. That's number one. Another thing that is so important is the keyboard. If if, if it's a desktop, for example, or there's a keyboard attached to the laptop, it must be such that it shouldn't be too far from you. It should be close to the body. Because if it's not close to the body, then what it means is you're, you're trying to stretch to reach the keyboard. And then you'll be straining the You'll be straining, the back. exactly. Oh, you're you are learning. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll be straining the back, you'll be straining the neck. Mm. So that's very important. And mm. Another important thing is the chair that you're sitting down on. It's important that the chair has a good back support. And so if there is no good back support, you might need to get like a small pillow or like a folded towel. Um, slow down. Okay. Um, so people use chairs mm -hmm. in, at work or wherever for different purposes. Mm -hmm. In my profession, we use it to present programs like this. They could be this way. And that one is for you. It's for guests. Then there are some that they use high stools. Uh, in some other organizations for some uh, other programs like that, right? So then there is one they use for news and all of those things. Mm -hmm. What are the common characteristics each of these chairs must have so as to protect the musculoskeletal health of anyone using them? Okay, like I said, it should have a good back support. Okay. And that's why, you know, most of the time, there's, another, there's an aspect of physiotherapy or an aspect of health that's called ergonomics. So it's always good for even employers of labor to invite these people, you know, to come assess the workstation generally because they, they are actually experts in that, in that, you know, they'll look at the workstation, they'll look at your job function and try to see how it can really, you know, match. So you're saying, my apologies, so you're saying now that every chair must have a back support? Yes, a good back support. But we have seats that don't come with back supports. It's not good. No stools, please. Thank uh, you. Bar stools, they call them bar stools. Mm -hmm. mm. They don't, do they? They don't. They, they don't. They don't. A again, you know, although we'll still get to that, hopefully, you know, maybe if we need to sit for maybe a minute, two minutes, or if you have to stay on that kind of chair for hours, then it's not the best. It's not the best. You still haven't shown us how to use the phone. Okay, I think I was, yes, I was going, okay, I was starting from the computer and the, yes. I, the, I'm going mm. to like, like about five points. So I was on the third point. Like, so the chair should have a good backrest such that, so even if the chair doesn't have, you can get a small pillow or a folded out towel and put it at the lower back. You know this, where we have the natural, that's natural curve Curl. of our back. Yeah. So we just put it there just to um, support. support the back is always very um, good. And also when using the laptop, it must be such that, like I said, the monitor at the high level, the keyboard close to the body, and our feet should be firmly on the floor. And the reason for this is because the way our lower body is, our legs takes about 
one third thereabouts of our body weight. And so if it's dangling, what happens is it pulls the low back. Mm. Do you understand? And so even if the workstation is such that the legs cannot get to the floor, you can even get like a foot, um, a foot, a stool, foot stool. a box or something mm. and just put to the legs it. there to balance it up. So okay. your leg must always be angle Flat. 90. Yes. It just reminded me of something. <laughs> then the knee should always be at the hip level. Okay. Yes. Should be at the hip level. Because if it's higher than the, the hip, it's not good for the back. Straining so. the back. It's straining the back. Oh. So I'm, here I'm we go again. A, this, a, wait, 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 there's a, the body. wait, there's a question. <laughs> so all those uh, etiquette people that say you must sit with your legs crossed. I mean, maybe, maybe because you're not, if you're not using computer for a long time or you're not going to be there or, or for a long time or yeah. anything. But another thing is this. Another thing is this. You shouldn't be in one position for a very long, long time. In fact, Define it, very long time. Okay. 30, 35 minutes. Tops. This, is, Tops. this one that you just did is aesthetics. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so, does this affect my health? This one is Musculo. shackle. Musculo. This is shackle. I mean, <laughs> generally speaking, no. Okay. But it shouldn't be there for, for more than 30 minutes. For a long time. So even in your program, <clears throat> I know you, you, you usually have short breaks. So like every 30 to 35 minutes, you know, at least to prevent the muscles from being, you know, to keep the muscles loose and all that, every 30 to 35 minutes, take a break, say hi to the cameraman, say hi to <laughs> whoever, to the makeup artist, go to the toilet. Or dance. Or dance, you know, mm -hmm. take a few steps, stretch, you know, to keep the muscles loose. Okay. And all so that. is that the fourth or the fifth point? I think I've... I, okay. I've the, phone the phone. The phone, exactly. <clears throat> I mean, especially the digital Please natives. Take your, take your pen and paper. <laughs> <laughs> the digital natives, the Twitter warriors, everybody always like this, always like this. As much as possible, and I think I see this a whole lot. Avoid using your phone this way. Oh, I know. And you start talking. Because with that, you know, you are really putting a lot of strain on the neck. So you cannot mm. hold something and, uh, hey, I'm listening. I'll be cooking. Mm. I'll be doing, you know, different things. No, we shouldn't do that. <laughs> In fact, preferably, use a headset or a headphone. Okay. With that, I mean. Or put it on speaker. God bless you. <laughs> or put it on speaker. Mm -hmm. That's a good way of, you know, okay. making call. Then for testing, like we said, we are in the digital world. Everybody always typing. As much as possible, try to put the phone at your high level. Okay. The, the single mm. word that you are trying to start now <laughs> is this. So you're using your phone like this. Normally, as, as far as they are concerned, the normal human being will do like this. Mm. Once you do like this, you are using video. As far as some people are concerned. Mm, I can imagine. Yeah, you are recording me. And yes. I don't want you to record, record me. Yeah. So, help us understand. I mean... That's what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> okay. But well, you wanted to demonstrate something the other time to us about standing about, up and, and then, um, walking. Then and before all that, I wanted to talk about even testing. As much as possible to prevent overuse. You know, most of the time when we want to use the phone, when we are testing or when we want to swipe, we usually use our thumb. Mm. You know, if possible, you know, we can change it sometimes. You know, use the index finger. You know, just to, you know, relieve some pressure okay, on the tongue to prevent tongue. overuse injuries and all that. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. so. Okay. Now, yeah. Before you stand. Okay. You, we'll talk about so many, many others of these things in, in time to come. Mm -hmm. Is there a right way or wrong way to walk? Right way or wrong way to sleep? To sleep. Right way mm -hmm. or wrong way to lie down? Okay. Right way or wrong way to move our bodies? Yes. Oh. So which one should I start from? Walking. <laughs> Walking. Yes. Okay. Although most of the time, um, except maybe somebody has pain or has some issues with, I think, well, okay, don't let me say that. Some people actually slouch to, to walk, okay. you know. So one of the wrong ways of walking will be slouching. So as much as, can I stand? Yes, yes. please. Okay. So as much as possible, everybody has to go to the military school when walking. Mm -hmm. So chest out, you like brace up, and then your chin in. Mm. You understand? So this is how you should. I mean, it shouldn't, I'm saying, it might seem obvious because I'm trying to demonstrate it. Yes. But when you're walking, not like it's it very be. obvious. Okay. But, you know, we shouldn't, you know, 
walk slow in a slouched <laughs> position, you know, this way. It should be as much as possible. Stand in So, wait, 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 wait. Just to be clear. Okay. So, it's well, wrong know, for me. It's wrong for me to say. Uh, uh, uh. Guys. <laughs> oh, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. For me to... <laughs> that... <laughs> is that what you're saying? Yes, that's what I'm saying. I mean, we shouldn't walk like that. There, there, there's no reason to. No, to no. Walk that way. How are you going to show that you are, you know? Yeah, a guy. You, you just got back. You know, you're a guy. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, this slouching thing, mm -hmm. you learn that right from primary school. Yes. You make some friends and they teach you all kinds of things and mm -hmm. you come home one day and you're... Is that? <laughs> then, of course, your parent. Stand straight, my friend. <laughs> chin up. Chest out. Exactly, chin up. <laughs> oh, those parents of those days, yeah. they, did, they didn't mess. They didn't like, mess. Like, you're not one of them. Anyway, so as we were saying... <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let's talk about the sleeping position. The sleeping position, I mean... Most people, I mean, everybody will agree with me that there has been at least one time in our lifetime where we just woke up and we have pain. Either somewhere, I'm like, maybe I slept, you know, maybe My you slept arm. on your arm, you know, because we slept in, a, you know, in an awkward position. So some people like to sleep on their back. Some like to sleep on their side. Some like to sleep on their tummy. So if we want to sleep on our back, for example, it's always good to put like some pillows, maybe one or two pillows, underneath the thigh and underneath the knee. Oh. Yes, just to maintain the normal curve of our spine, of our back. Underneath the, the yes. knees. Yes, underneath the knees. Pillows, yes. Mm -hmm. And there should be one pillow at our upper back too. So between the shoulder blade and the back of the neck. So not necessarily a pillow. The pillow is not necessarily for the head. Is that what you're saying? It's for the... It's for between the... You are supporting, the, you are supporting the, the neck, but you see, for example, again, the pillow shouldn't be too high. Because if mm -hmm. the pillow is very high, you know the way these new pillows are that you're yeah. so high? It's not so good. Because when you use that, it puts the neck in a forward position. Like, it's, it makes the neck bend. I don't know if you can try to... A yeah. very big pillow, when you use it, the neck will kind of come into this position that's not so good okay that's for those who lay on their backs who lay on their yeah. backs so okay. like the pillow should be like medium sized mm -hmm. you know and it should be between the shoulder blade and the back of the neck so with that you are supporting the neck properly okay do you understand okay. Mm -hmm. and then so okay. once you can do that and can put some pillows underneath the knee you're good okay. side side now when you sleep on the side you should try to put some pillows between the knees Yes. So when you do that, you are relieving, you relieve pressure on the hip and you relieve pressure on the low back. Hmm. Yes. On the stomach. Stomach is not so good to sleep on the stomach. It's not so good. There's going to be a lot of pressure. But if you need to, try to, you try to you know, get some pillows maybe on the, around the head, around the hip, the then around the leg, you know. It's not so advisable, but if you need to, just make sure you are supporting you know, so you, with those quick, quick, quick trip to the mm. back yeah. position. There are those who say it's always better to sleep on a particular side of the body. Is that? Oh no, I, I think you can. Apart from the tummy, you can either the side or the back. Put Again, on. sometimes some people may have some may have pain. Again, another thing is it depends on what is comfortable for you. Some people will sleep in some way and it's not so comfortable for them because of mm. one thing or the other. So at the end of the day, you, you have to listen to your body and knows what works for your body. What, you should, what would you advise for a pregnant woman? A preg <laughs> that is a whole, you know, a whole, a, like I said. A some, lecture. Some, a lecture. Like I said, you know, different, you know, people different have different strokes structures. For different folks. You know, so at the end of the day, you need to actually find what really works for you. Mm. But for a pregnant woman, you need a lot of pillows to really, so because when a person is pregnant, that's so like, you know, the way there is like yes. a, a protrusion. A protrusion. Mm -hmm. That protrusion, you know, is straining naturally, back. straining the back already. So that's why you see a lot of pregnant women come down with back pain, hip pain, and, you know, different pain in the joints. Mm -hmm. You know, apart from even the fact that, that, apart from that protrusion, because when you're pregnant, there are some kind of hormones that are really flowing through the body that makes the ligaments really, really, we call it lax, but just for the sake of, you know, the general population, that makes the ligaments soft. And the ligament is supposed to be the one um, supporting the joints of the body. And so when the ligament is already soft, 
you are you are predisposed to a lot of pain, a lot of injury, you know. So at that stage, you know, one needs to be very careful. So if they need to sleep, they need to you know use a lot of pillows, like I said, you know, um, between the knees, supporting the uh, the head and all sorts, and they just find a comfortable position for the, oh, for dear. them. Yes. We've run out of time already. Oh no no no! This is part one because <laughs> uh, you know. Um, it's like, you know, what, what the scriptures, you know, the Christian scriptures say, mm -hmm. um, if the foundation is destroyed, mm -hmm. what can the righteous can do? The righteous so, do? Mm -hmm. uh, the, and am I correct to say that the, the bones are the foundation of the body? Yes. Support. <laughs> so, Dr. They, they hold the body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dr. Desola Laluakiola, we have to thank you very much for this time. And just to pleasure. let you know, this is part one. Okay. We're coming back for more. Okay. Dr. Desola Laluakiola is a physiotherapist. Thank you so much for thank your you time. Thank you so this much. Morning. Thank you for having me. Okay. What is the correct way to laugh? <laughs> I don't know if that's, if that's a thing. We'll talk about that and more when we return for our home stretch. Stay with us. <laughs>